the same audience for people that watch tournaments. You know? He's actually doing what he can to show the tradition alone. Yeah. It's not zero. I, I fully support his uh, decision. He's probably a smarter one. Uh, by oh, no, thank you. So, uh, I thought all the foreign in SoCal died, besides myself. So <laughs> yeah. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, Shasta was a Corrin too, right? He's playing young. Corrin's uh, actually still really good. I think with the engine, uh, the way that the engine is pinned, has actually gotten me better. Like, I've, I've gone from, oh my god, they nerfed it, to, wow. Yeah, the other crossover is easier to explore, but that's the only two weeks that I see this thing. Like, so fast. Oh, geez. Oh, yeah, that four is pretty nice. You know, I actually, I think I remember uh, Rafi having a pretty okay uh, Bowser. I think I saw him at the MSM. Yeah, I know he was a Mario player before. Rafi? But, uh, yeah, in, in Smash 4. But, uh, rocking the Bowser, that's real nice. I really want to see a, a good level Bowser. Because all the heavies in the game got some love, man. There isn't a single heavy that doesn't feel scary anymore. Yeah. A lot of people are saying uh, Bowser kind of got the uh, shaft when it came to the development as far as uh, heavy smoke. I feel that. Yeah. I think the three frame jump spot is insane for Bowser. The increased window of chub die is insane as well. And having more super armor on his smash is like, he seems like a character that not only can run an aerial really well, he's like, those strong attacks are scarier too. Like, even the little match that smash is strong. I don't know, I think Bowser's crazy. Yeah, someone's gonna unlock him. Maybe you're off for those. I got there, dude. I don't know if that was going to do this time. Nice. Robbie's doing the little idea. Oh, okay, that was good. Yeah, what is it called? Uh, Dragon, Dragon Fang Shot? Yeah, Dragon Fang Shot. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, get back here. I find that when I'm playing myself, I uh, back air or is just the move to use, like, especially in neutral. Oh, that's death. That's super death. Uh, but back air, even though it propels you backward, it's still, a, it's very safe with that. Um, yeah. it's, it's definitely worth using, it, especially if it's a character like Bowser. Yeah, the thing is, uh, is to start off his set really well, uh, really well because he was taking advantage of Bowser's really huge frame and juggling it, like, insanely well, but then he was trying to move out. Uh, yeah, I see him uh, daring on shield a lot, which isn't safe. I mean, you can get away with it sometimes. Oh, I'm gonna go for the pin drop there. I would have gone for the pin Yeah, same here. Same here. Now, the corn Discord told me to keep this a secret, but uh, let it be known that pin drop is actually not safe at all. So you can just hit them when they drop. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. People will try to fix you up, like, oh, oh. I'm the side Okay, this guy's just like... Yeah, he's definitely not evil. Oh, that might have killed. Oh, he's kind of oh, Definitely yeah. dead. Oh, Wait, what percent was he at? No one cares about stealing. He comes to getting that Bowser's on. Well, I think he was like 100 plus. Yeah, and uh, Cohen's no longer the uh, the heaviest middleweight in the game anymore. Who is now? Uh, I, don't, I think it's Cloud. I think it's Cloud. I could be wrong. Uh, yeah, it used to be, uh, used to be Corrin, though. Corrin got lighter? Um, I don't think it's like Or just people's, other people's stats changed to make them... Other stats changed, and then new characters came in to fill in the certain gaps. Uh, I'll have to look at the, the metrics again, but I'm pretty sure that Corrin's like the third... The, like, the, the third heaviest middleweight now. I hope he sticks with Corrin, um, just because I like... He looks like he's... Corrin. Okay, okay, uh, uh, every time I see that, the characters are like, oh, I don't know, switch. They're switch. gonna... Yeah. I, I always think they are gonna switch for sure. Um, yeah. Switch to Melkor, I mean, that's kind of a switch. I, I, I just don't get why everyone plays Melkor. I just... I, I, I mean, don't get it. No, everyone plays Melkor. I, every Ooh. single Corrin that I've seen online, all, like, five of them. What? Yeah, they're all playing Melkorn. I, I don't get it either. Are you in, like, an alternate universe, man? I'm in some weird like, timeline that I don't Everyone like. loves female Melkorn. Like, That's what I thought. People, like, shame people who play Melkorn. Yeah, yeah. I, I let everybody know that I see. You're playing Melkorn? <laughs> I only Melkorn like Melkorn because he has a better blue color. Yeah, everyone if, says it's the colors. If, if female Corn had the Melkorn blue color, I mean, I would just play female Melkorn. Yeah. It's just like the boys get to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's actually horrible. It's like I'm taking a cheese grater to my eyes. Ouch. That yeah. sounds crazy. But why, why eyes and not ears? Because it hits my corneas and then it just 
and it hurts my brain. So it may as well be the same thing. <laughs> oh, he dashed into the Dragon Fang job, but we big boys out here. Actually, uh, I like this counter pick for Stick. Mm. As same. long as he avoids this. Yeah, oh, that's God. that's the worst place yeah. to be. I was gonna say, as long as he avoids getting like the Bowser bounce on the platforms, it's good for him. Mm. But it also depends on how well he's moving. And honestly, Rafi's the one that has better movement. Yeah. Even though it's like a larger stage, and he can quote unquote like keep Bowser out, Rafi's movement is so much better that he's not actually doing a good job of that. As much as I like Dragon Pink Shot, I think it's a bit too much. Uh, from Wita Stick. Like, I get that he's trying to keep distance, but you're able to do that with all of your aerials, too. Yep. And I haven't seen any tilts either, because forward tilt actually kills at the, at the ledge. Kind of like a team ledge or a young ledge. There uh, we go. Got him. Good kick. Got him dropping shield. Yeah, but uh, Wita Stick definitely has to keep his range as well as possible. Okay, that's a pretty good start right there. Up tilt's also really good on the platform. He's barely whipping that, though. A little bit better for the stick. Starting to move in and out, getting his groove going. Oh, I don't like that spot dodge, bro. Yeah, he even shake his head like I didn't even do that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, if you just like, when Bowser gets close, he needs to hit that down tilt, man. He just did it. Or, Ooh. I mean, uh, with a stick, he needs to hit that down tilt. Oh, Thorn. definitely. Definitely. Uh, it's negative on hit at zero, but right now he would be getting a lot of combos and a lot of mileage out of that. Okay. Not falling with the up air either, but that was a good backer, actually. It, was, it actually was. Yeah, that ended up Oh, no, out. and save. Yeah. Oh, man. He got deleted. Dude, that was so bad for him. Like, he could he either, had to, either had to die from center stage or die on the platform. Like, he had, to, he had no <laughs> Take your peek. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I, uh, mm. Yeah, catching that. Woo. Yeah. I mean, Rafi has no fear, dude. And this is why he was able to play Bowser, man, because Bowser lets you... Like, unless you're keeping him out really well and throwing him, he gets to, like, just run around the stage. Oh, look at him, dude. Goodness. He's crazy. Why is Bowser so fast? Yeah. The, the thing about Korin is that Korin is a very condition-heavy character. So it's like, I'm going to condition you to shield with pin, right? So after I do that, like, three times, then I can start grabbing you, and then I can start back airing you. Or